here at Clement's yeah, Homebrew. Yeah, here we are. Doing Sorry. another beer review. Yeah. Sorry, Matt, I just nailed myself with uh, some needle nose pliers today, so. <laughs> Working on a motorcycle. Yeah, that's what you get. And we mechanics. got a sleeping grandson to the left of us. We just got him to sleep, so now we can enjoy so, a beer. Yeah. No, we're not home alone watching a baby drinking beer. <laughs> yeah, so, someone else is watching that baby. But don't make any noise. We don't want him to wake up. <laughs> so today, I uh, had a fun time, went out with Barbara, and we went to one of the local markets, and uh, had a chance to meet uh, Tom Kramer with um, Ambach, uh, Ambach Brewing. Nice guy, really nice gentleman. Now, was this your first time trying Ambach? No, well, we did an Ambach review, if you remember. We did the Pie Cherry Dark. Oh, we did, but yeah. Uh, but I've never met anyone. That. But yeah, no, I've met him at the at the farmer's market also, and it's pretty awesome. I mean, the local guys just starting to build their business, you know. And they've actually, they're they're in a lot of places now. Uh, yeah, they're tap. really growing. So they're doing well. <clears throat> so today, though, he, he suggests I try something I've never had before, which is a ginger beer. And <clears throat> I did get to try a few other beers with them. Yeah, I mean, they've had <laughs> raspberry, hints of raspberry, hints of honey, uh, yeah. all kinds of stuff. I, I actually did a taster with them once, yeah, so I it was really do, cool. Yeah, uh, I the rose, they had a rose one, and I got to have some of the uh, 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 triple honey today. Ooh, so that was talking. fun. But let's so, grab some gra right, glasses well, here. Well, here we go. It's, <laughs> uh, well, what, what all do we know about this beer? We got our, our little special uh, uh, little guy here for opening the bottles today, Caesar. Yep. Little Ooh, Caesar. Nice hissing the smoke off that. Yeah. Ooh. Well, Ooh. want to show them the pour? All right. Oh, there we go. Yeah. That's, That's nice not too looking. bad, is it? Oh, look at that. that is That's nice. nice. All right, so. Do we even know the ABV on this? Uh, you know, going to I don't know. I'm not going to worry us. about it, and we'll post that. It's actually 6.5 percent. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> All right, a ginger beer. I can smell the ginger in this. Oh my lord! Oh, that's awesome. Oh yeah, it's a little bit of sweet, almost like yeah. some honeyish scent. Yeah, but mostly just lots and lots of ginger, fresh ginger smelling. Yeah, I'm trying to, hold on, I'm trying to get a good whiff of this. It was a, a nice head, almost white, off-white, yeah, no, it's fluffy. definitely a little off-white. It's a, it's a thick beer, though, yeah, as you can tell. Nice I mean, carbonation. I mean, you can just appearance. tell by appearance like it's really heavy in there. Yeah, it's got like, it's got some chew or something to it. By parents, but I just smell ginger. Most I, I really ginger. I really can't get hints of anything else in there. So I mean, I guess we're gonna have to taste we're it. We're gonna have to taste All it. Right, oh well. Oh darn. <laughs> wow, that's a whole lot of ginger. That's ginger. And this is a farmhouse ale, so it's a... Oh, it's a farmhouse ale, huh? It's a ginger, but it's a farmhouse style. They, they specialize in uh, uh, Belgian-style beers, and I know that they bought large quantities of um, uh, farmhouse yeast in order mm -hmm. to get a lot of their stuff from Y yeast, so I assume that's where they got it from. Yeah. Well, uh, I can definitely tell the notes of the European style that they have going on oh, here. Yeah. I mean... It's. I find it hard to feel mm. it's a an it farmhouse ale. All right, and that little burp. I finally I felt I I, I could taste some barley. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, they're they're a unique place. Um, they do some fun mm -hmm. unique things, and a lot of their customers really ask that of them. Uh, if you ask them where they got the name Ambacht, Ambacht mm -hmm. means in Dutch means handmade. And Tom actually lived in in uh, mm. uh, over there in the Netherlands for a while. So talking to Tom Kramer, that actually there was a synagogue in this area that um, uh, had bought a, a church building that right. had brewing equipment. 
Mm, and how about um, that? so they didn't need the brewing equipment for this facility, so they were able to buy all this brewing equipment inexpensively. And again, they're just literally pretty close to being a stone's throw from our house right yeah. here. So are you saying this is holy beer? Well, I'm saying it's uh, wholly approved by me. <laughs> wholly approved. Well, that's good. That's good. So, so yeah. Uh, I'm going to enjoy this. This is very unique. It is. Um, it is very I unique. I just don't know how else to describe this. It's got lots of ginger. Um, you're getting... A, I'm finally getting a little bit of the sour note or the IPA note or... Hops? The hops. I'm finally getting a bit of the hops in there. So, it's... I don't know. It's just different. It's, if you, it's unique. If you've ever had a ginger beer, as in the soda, you know, or people that made made beverages with fresh ginger. I mean, there's just a lot of that in there, but it's alcoholic, of course. Yeah. Well, so they're going. So they said it's a farmhouse. Uh huh. Right. Well, his description when I asked him about his definition of farmhouse, mm -hmm. because I always hear about all these. Session ales, or you know, however you want to pronounce it, there's all these different ones, Sazoan, and all these. Mm -hmm. But he just said basically, when you're talking about farmhouse ales, you're talking about a, a Belgian style, well, mm -hmm. that's their, their interpretation of that. But it's a ginger beer, and that's basically what we're yeah, gonna do. That, yeah, that's, and that's what we kind of have to rate it on because I really can't rate it on anything other than that. So we, well, how about... we just had an incident with the dogs, so yes. we had to cut that out. <laughs> Yes, darn that dog. <laughs> Old dog. Uh, but, uh, so, I'm, I'm just going to have to throw it out there. It's unique, it's huh. it's different, but I'm not highly impressed other than the fact that it's ginger. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to go in the, I mean, it's 81. I, I mean, it's just, it's, it's a good beer. But, you know, it's not something I'll be craving to go out and get again. Having had, actually had some non-alcoholic ginger beers and things, in terms of flavor, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to attempt some kind of a rating on that basis. Uh, the ginger flavor is really wonderful in this. Mm -hmm. There's just, and there's a nice, like, sweetness. Something that I thought was kind of missing in their pie cherry dark. Mm -hmm. It implied some sweetness, and it didn't have that. Um, so if I was going to rate a ginger beer, I think I could put it up to a 91. But in terms of an overall for my personal taste, and, and we don't go on just overall for the style of beer, we go on overall for what we like and mm -hmm. what we enjoy. Honestly, I'm going to, I'm going to go at about a 79. Um, uh, it's, it's not going to be in a high class of things I would just be going after, yeah. something unique again. Almost like the banana beer, something I'd bring in for fun for people to try, Man. but um, not something I'm going to drink on a daily basis. Having said that, uh, they recognize that they specialize in distinct beers, uh, very unique yeah, beers, no, and very they change unique. style. So, and, and this is what this is unique. Yeah, and so if you're going to go buy something for fun because you want to enjoy it, yeah, cheers. This is a fun beer. This That's is something great to, to have. Life goes well, on. Well, anyway. <laughs> Anywho. Here's to y'all. Here's to everyone. Enjoy life. I'm enjoying my beer. Keep drinking. Yes. We'll See you guys catch later. You next time.